Yo, Andrew, man, don't do it. Don't do it. I have to. I got to do this no! for my culture. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special summertime episode of Fun Rose Food Express. Woo! Today, we are going to be taking you through a New York legendary institution. Yes, I would put it up there next to Halal Guys, except this is like the low-key Chinatown Halal Guys. Which means if you come to New York City as a tourist and you visit Chinatown, you have to come visit Wa Fung, number one fast food. It's known for being tasty, huge portions. It's known for being fast, but most importantly, it's probably known for being cheap. cheap. Let's go. Get in line. They got an A health rating here at Wafung. Wafung number one is bringing the cleanliness. I appreciate that. This is the pressure at Wafung, man. You gotta make sure your canto is on point. You can't order in English, but it's more fun this way. Uh, and let me tell you, that sauce is like a mixture of soy sauce, sugar, it's got some honey in it, it's got some five spice in it. It is not your average soy sauce, trust me. Yo, Andrew, can you imagine how tasty that wooden chopping block tastes? I know so much meat has been chopped into it, I'm pretty sure that wood tastes like chashu. Is it like a seasoned wok where, you know, just the flavors have seeped into it? Wood absorbs things too. When I was a termite, that would be the tastiest chashu block of wood on earth. Don't leave that block of wood outside. Yo, we got the wafung. Let's go eat it at the park. Okay, so our first meat is barbecue pork. In Cantonese, that's cha siu. And in Mandarin, that's cha shao. So as you can see, there's mad juice on this rice right here. And the fluffy rice, it used to be more fluffy, but since he packs that in, it's a little flattened. Sweet, it's got a little bit of five spice. It's got the soy sauce flavor. It's salty. It's crispy around the edges, but then it gets really succulent in the middle. Mmm, that's so good. Bro, I could do curls with this right now. Just honestly, ah, ah. it feels like a brick. Honestly, if you threw this at somebody's head, it would probably hurt. There is something very special about this chashu. It does not look like typical chashu. It's been candy. Yeah, it's a lot, it's a little bit, looks a little bit more like jerky. Now, it's thinly sliced, but it's still juicy. It's super sweet. All right, Andrew, what's the verdict on Wa Fung's world famous cha siu, AKA red roast pork? It's cheap, it's sweet, and best in class. Coming up next, we got the roast, roast duck. duck. In Cantonese, it's siu op. In Mandarin, it's kao ya. This is, as you can see in the sauce, that's the five spice sauce that's not your regular soy sauce yours looks yeah. nice yeah brother. i would say you the lucky one for that you so lucky yo, we gotta try this duck man. yo david sitting at the park eating duck man I, i'm not gonna lie this is this is life right now very fatty very decadent very succulent oh, this is really good cheap duck you know i'm not gonna say this is the greatest duck you can buy but this is the greatest duck you could probably buy for this price anytime you get duck 25 percent of the pieces are gonna be easy to eat 35% of the pieces are gonna be medium level, and the remaining 40%, you need to be expert level to extract any value out of it. The other part is just bone and cartilage, which I can see that being a criticism, but that's why if you get it in the combo, you're just gonna get a few good pieces, and that's really all you need. So overall, just get, get it, it in, in a combo. combo. Andrew, what's the verdict on the duck? On a good day, it is nice. For the ability to explore the world of duck for 375, definitely give it a shot. Coming up next, we got the soy sauce chicken, AKA in Cantonese, the xiao gai, and in Mandarin, the zhang you qi. Instead of the hydraulic packed rice, I went and got lo mein. Ah. Yeah, because a lot of people like lo mein because it kind of tastes like bready. The thing I actually really like about this chicken, ma'am, it's not too sweet and it's not too salty right now. Yeah. And after eating the duck and the cha shu, it's kind of a nice switch up. I mean, if you're trying to get gains, but you still want to be decadent and cheap, I would say get the soy sauce chicken on a bed of cabbage at Waffle. And last but not least, we got the roast pork. In Cantonese, that's shiu yuk, and in Mandarin, that's pork ro. Ooh, I think this is one of my that favorites. Is decadent. Yo, Andrew, man, don't do it. Don't do it. I have to. 
I gotta do this no! for my culture. I always love this dish because it has that crackling skin and it has like four or five different layers. It's got fat, it's got membrane, fat, meat, fat. Oh. It almost looks like a cake. I love the crispy pink cake. That's what the Fung Bros called it. All right, so the final verdict on the roast pork, I wouldn't say it's an everyday food, but you gotta get it. You will enjoy this shiu yolk, AKA roast pork. So we just had all four meats, but individually. We did, we did. Yeah. Each were four of those small things ended up being like a tranquilizer dart. And it was like, don't, 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 don't. But for the people who do not want to get four smalls and you just want to get all four meats at once, boom. <laughs> Pop the top, bro. On the combo, on the wafung combo, bro. bro. All right, David, so they forgot to put the gurung chong in the dish, but, bro, <laughs> pull it all the way back. Yo, that is crazy. Yo, that looks like a melted freeze pop. Yeah. Ow. I, I try to do it real like culinary expert style. Bro, that is what, listen, <laughs> guys, pulverized onion and ginger and oil and salt, bro. There is no other sauce on earth that's like this, man. All right, Andrew, what is the verdict on adding the ginger scallion, AKA Gurung Chol? I'll tell you this, man, that sauce is very powerful. Use it, but use it with caution. Remember what Uncle Benny Wong always told us, with great Gurung Chol comes great responsibility. That was the quote. Wafeng is not just a Chinatown must try, which it certainly is, but Wafeng is a New York must try. It's accessible, it's tasty, and it's fast. So if you want a truly unique experience, you come down to Chinatown, you get the Wafung, you carry it across the street, eat it at Grand Street Park. I mean, what more can you say? It's a beautiful day. Life is good. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching that episode of Fung Bros Food Express. In the comment section below, number one, let us know if you've ever had Cantonese roast meats and which one is your favorite. Number two, make sure you let us know what your favorite roast food is of any culture. Vegetables count as well. Number three, let us know what your favorite cheap meal under $5 is. Till next time, we're out. Peace. Peace. What's going on, everybody? We're at Grand Street Park. This ain't Grand Street Park, it's Shandy Tam Street Park. Shandy Tam Street Park. Shandy, let them know what it is about. What is, what, what is Grand Street Park? Grand Street Park is basically like a community of uh, basketball players from all around the city. They come here and uh, you know they just scoop it up. It's a huge park in the middle of Chinatown. And there's handball, there's basketball, there's little kids. It's just like, I feel like the whole spectrum's here. Who are the one who introduced us to the power of Wafeng, man? Tell us about it. Well, Wafeng is basically across the street from the Grand, uh, Grand Street Park. Uh, this is basically where everybody goes to you know, grab a cheap meal. It's just like one of the best cha siu spots uh, in the city, I think. How many times have you had Wafeng before? Oh, at least every time I come to the park. So what, a hundred? No. A thousand. A thousand! <laughs> What's up, this is Shani Tam. Peace out from New York.